So we are here once again as we have been coming here since 2021, June precisely. When our leader, the only leader in Gaffer Land, Mazi Nam de Kano, Mazi Nam de Kano is a prisoner of conscience. In case if you British people that are seeing us today, if you haven't heard about him, Mazi Nam de Kano is the leader of indigenous people of Gaffer. We are in the southeast of that construction called Nigeria. Mazin Namdekano is a leader of over 70 million people. Mazin Namdekano is a British, like so many of us here. Mazin Namdekano was, was kidnapped in Kenya and was extraordinary rendition to Nigeria since June 2021. As we all know, Extra, um, um, extra, extra rendition is a criminal crime, is a terrorism act, is a heinous crime, and we are in a Western world where human rights are not being played with. A Muslim man became a British citizen. He was kidnapped by Nigerian government in Kenya an extraordinary rendition to Nigeria, yes. which he never had their passport, which he has rejected their passport. And since that June 2021, we've been looking onto the British government to do something for their citizen. Up to today, nothing has been done. And to make it worse, Mazen Nandekano has been arrayed in Nigerian court, gone through court serial trials, and as God will have it, because he has no skeleton in his cupboard, Nigerian Court of Appeal granted him, made him, acquitted him, and set him free since 13th of October 2022. That is barely four months now. And as it is, Nigeria government being whom they are, such a lawless country with lawless government, with lawless people in the, in the, in the helm of affairs, they have refused to obey their court order. Mazen Nam the Ghana went through several trials in different courts in Nigeria, which the whole court trials set him free and warned Nigeria to set him to release him immediately. Nigeria has never, never obeyed that court order more than three of them and up to today we have British government remain mute over the predicament of Mazen Namdekano. We have Katrina Lang as the British High Commissioner in Nigeria. She has never done anything about the case of Mazen Namdekano. We heard it that as a British citizen that they are going to provide a consular assistance to Mazen Namdekano that has never been done. It has never been made. As we speak today, our leader Mazen Nam the Colonel is very ill. He is critically ill. Mazen Nam the Colonel has an ulcer. Poison. If you understand what an ulcer means, Mazen Nam the Colonel has been in his, has been continuously inhumanly treated. In Nigeria DSS. Poison. Nigeria DSS has denied Mazen Nandekano his regular medication. If you have an ulcer, ulcer is a critical illness. Without food, you cannot make it. Mazen Nandekano is being denied food. He's been denied his medical medications. Mazen Nandekano is being inhumanly treated. As a result of the attack, as a result of what he went through in Kenya, because they mercilessly beat him beyond repair. His ear jaw was affected during the beating. Mazen Namdekan is still suffering that up to today. The doctors that saw him in DSS Nigeria have asked the DSS to grant him access to his, to his doctors 
for medical and surgical intervention up to today. That has been denied. Master Nandi Kano always lament for pains, pains in the ears, pains in the stomach. We don't know what it is. It could be that he's been poisoned. And the UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, you cannot pretend as if you haven't heard about it. You are aware of it. Up to today, nothing has been done. We started coming here during the regime of Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson did not do anything in the case of Mazin Nandekano. We started coming again during the regime of uh, Lee Strauss. Lee Strauss left the office without doing anything for Mazin Nandekano. Now is the son of Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak, we do understand that you are a nation, you are an Indian descendant. Just like our predicament today, Indians, we are, we, we are colonized. Like, 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 like we Jaffans, we, but you have, you, 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 your, your independence has been granted. And today, Indians are free people. Just like we, we need our freedom. We need our leader, Mazin Nandi Kano, be released immediately. And to add it up, we need referendum. As we all know, Nigeria is a terrorist, and um, uh, Nigeria is a terrorist country. We, their friends are in the southeast of Nigeria. We are going through a lot. We are being killed. Our youth are massacred every day. No one is coming for our rescue. United, uh, United Nations claim to be over, to be overseen the, 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 the for, for overseeing the protection of human rights. But we have never seen that night over us, over the difference. So today we are calling on Rishi Snack, the British Prime Minister, to do his job, to do the needful. If a British government, if a, if a British citizen is not protected in the world, who else will be? Does it mean to hold a red passport is in vain? We know that Britain is more than this. We need action and we need it now. So we are calling on UK government and we are calling on every good citizens of UK because we know that most Britons are good people. We have lived here, we have worked with you, with you people. We know that you don't cover evil. We know you expose evil. So I want to, I would like you people to help us to call on Rishuna to intervene in the case of our leader, Mazen Namdekano. All we are asking is for Mazen Namdekano to be released. He needs urgent surgical and medical attention. That has to be done. If anything goes wrong, over 70 million people, which Mazen Namdekano leads, are not going to take it easy. So many people are going crazy already. And we know that Britain is standing for peace. United Kingdom is standing for justice. We want that justice now. We want the protection of our human rights. That of Mazin Namdi Kano. That of, of, of over 70 million people. We need action. Dear friends, when do you want our freedom? Now! When do you want our freedom? Now! We want it now! now. So we say again. Holy, holy, holy.